You got teenagers, they mutants, they ninjas. They live in the sewer eating pizza. It's like if you can't get the cheese right, how are you gonna sell me on the sausage, pepperoni, the meat lovers? Right. I'm from Chicago, <laughs> but if we're talking about when I'm not home, Pizza Hut. Yes, Pizza Hut, woo! How's it going, Ice Cube? All good, man. How you feeling? I'm doing all right, man. Excited to talk about this new movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. We can't stop him. We gotta try. Six in the morning, police at my door. Can I kick it? Go, 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 go. My son, Michelangelo, you have heart. Donatello, you have wisdom. Raphael, you have bravery. And Leonardo, honor. Were you big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans growing up? Yeah, I mean, you know, to me, I always was into the concept. I mean, you got teenagers, they mutants, they ninjas, they turtles, they live in the sewer eating pizza, kicking ass, and their daddy is a big rat. I don't know what's not to like about this, you know. He's marking all the boxes. Uh, which, which turtle was your favorite? Michelangelo, you know, he's the leader. Can I kick, kick? Whoa. Chick, 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 chick. What the? Y'all some little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. Humans are never gonna like us. So we gonna let the mutants rule the earth. Superfly is more of my style. Need to be the leader. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I never pictured you to be the villain. You know, typically in most of your roles, you've always been the good guy, the protagonist. Uh, how much fun did you have uh, playing this role? A lot of fun. It was uh, it was amazing to to be able to let loose, to to be able to ad lib and be able to you know just sprinkle the movie with with my flavor, cool one liners, you know, hitting that pop culture for sure, for sure. I mean, and so if you could play any other superhero villain, who would you want to play? I could play a shark. I, I I could play Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm amazing. I'm an amazing actor. That's a big role <laughs> to fill. You know that that shark. Just I just some it. prosthetics, man. Some fake teeth, and I got it. <laughs> I mean, you have so many iconic roles throughout your whole filmography. What's been your favorite role to date? Wow, favorite one. I gotta say, Craig Friday movies. You know, Craig kind of represents the audience in a way. You know, what I mean, the normal people. And uh, everybody around him is crazy. It's fun to play. I mean, if you said anyone else, I'll been very disappointed. Uh, I, I think everyone was expecting Craig. Uh, but Ice Cube, thank you. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you, my man. Anytime, man. Anytime. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi, Micah, Shaman, Nichols, and Brady. So excited to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Yes, yeah. excited to talk with you. I like your shirt. Awesome. Oh, thank you. More just for you guys. So you were baby turtles who made contact with mystery goo. Well, we prefer the term ooze, but yeah. It's like more like, it's just nice. It, it, it rolls off the tongue cool. better, yeah. Ooze. 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 It's nice, Ooze. right? Micah, let's start with you. So we all have our favorite series, movies, comic books. You know, what generation of turtles did you grow up with? I grew up with the 2012 series, but I also grew up the, with the Michael Bay films. And some don't really like it that much. But me personally, I mean, I loved it. They were super cool. They were, all, they were jacked. It felt so real because they were in real life. And like, I don't know how they did it. Like, they did it so well. And it's kind of crazy to say that. that's what I want to be when I grow up is like, look like that. But I don't look <laughs> like that. But I guess in the movie, I, I am, you know? Leo, oh what happened? Oh Is Donnie bleeding? It was an accident. That's amazing. Brady, I'll move on to you. What do you think? So yeah, I grew up on the 2012 version and pretty much I'd come home from school every day and it would just always be on the TV. So me and my siblings, uh, we kind of gravitated towards that. Um, and I just really enjoyed that. Now fast forward 11 years and now I'm a turtle. So <laughs> perfect. Shaman, how about you? Definitely the 2012 version, you know, I, but yeah. ever since then I had like the lanyards and keychains and Legos and everything, all the cool things like that. So my love has grown ever since. So to be, you know, here today is, is surreal. 
Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Nick, dare I assume the 2012 version? Dare you assume the 2012 version? You would assume incorrect. I am doing this whole press tour and I have not watched any of the shows or movies, but I've always been around the toys and even without watching the movies or shows or reading the comics, I know all of the turtles and I know all the villains. Even if you don't want to get into it, like they're just so huge that like, you'll learn about the turtles against your will. You will learn about the turtles. Hey, why do we pick a fruit shaped exactly like my head? Just stop talking, you're ruining my concentration. You're fine, chill. He's gonna die. Yeah. Ah. Did you hear that? What was that? Well, not that we can do. You guys wanna grab pizza? So I have to ask, uh, what's your favorite pizza spot? Nicholas, I'll stay with you. Favorite pizza spot? Pizza. Yeah, anywhere in the world. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to like any other pizza spot other than Pizza Hut because we have like a whole promotion with them. So I'm going to say Pizza Hut to stay in the good graces of our corporate right. overlords. Yes, Pizza right. Hut. Woo! Pizza Hut. Shaman, uh, how about you? I'm sorry. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> so, so I think my favorite spot in Chicago is a time fiesta. But if we're talking about when I'm not home, Pizza Hut. All right, uh, Brady? You know I'm only allowed to say Pizza Hut, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Pizza Hut all day. No, but I actually do eat Pizza Hut. It's actually, like, really yeah. good. I would say, like, in my hometown, there's a place called Borgata's. But, 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 like, if that, if, if that's, that was, like, my second option. My first option would be Pizza Hut, because <laughs> oh, Pizza Hut's the best. Guys. And if you pizza. get Pizza Hut, the big, the big <laughs> New Yorker's the best, definitely 100%. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the time I have, but thank you so much for hanging out with thank me you today. So thank you so much. This is really fun. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> Take care. Hi, Io. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks. How are you? Great. So obviously TMNT has a huge fan base, uh, but I'm curious about what your favorite fandom is. Oh my gosh. Okay. The things that I think I watch to the point of fandom are like really quiet, like British mysteries. Like I feel oh. like the fandom that I'm a part of is full of like a lot of like geriatric retirees. Like, I feel like it's us just sort of being like, wow, David Suchet is so good at playing Poirot. Oh, wow. John Nettles is so good in Midsummer Murders, you know? That's amazing. I was not it's expecting not that great. answer. It's not great, but it is true, you know? No, I love it. I love the genuine answer. I know you have done other animated projects like Big Mouth. How did you get into voice acting? I've always been told that I have a pretty ridiculous sounding voice. Um, a friend told me that when I'm excited, I sound like a dog on a skateboard. Oh, so no. I just sort of felt, no, to me, that's a massive compliment. So I just felt like if I don't do voice or acting at some point, I'm I'm like ignoring what I'm supposed to be doing. Do you think there are people who will accept us? Yark, 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 yark. No, no, absolutely not. Um, genuinely, no. I made a reel by myself and then I got a voice acting agent and then I just started doing more and more parts. And then I also was working on animated shows and then did some voices for those. So all sort of you know, rolled together. Very cool. I have to ask a pizza question. Uh, what What's your favorite pizza topping? Perhaps something Carmi and Sydney create in the bear? Wow. I mean, <laughs> if they were to create something, it would be so complicated. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe they could do some sort of Italian beef pizza. But I'm very simple. I like cheese. I like cheese and then you shake a little extra parmesan on top you know like it's a good way to judge sort of the lay of the land you know it's like if you can't get the cheese right how how am i gonna how are you gonna sell me on the sausage pepperoni the meat lovers right. you know what i mean i, I don't know 100 well that's all for me but thank you so much for hanging out with me today thank you yeah i appreciate it bye nicole Welcome. hey jeff thank you so much for hanging out with me today I'm so curious. How did you connect with Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg on this project? I was looking for my next project after Mitchell's versus the Machines. And my agent was like, do you like Seth and Evan movies? I was like, I love Seth and Evan movies. Do you like the Ninja Turtles? Yeah, it was like the first thing I ever loved. And he's like, well, they're doing a Ninja Turtles movie. You probably won't be able to get the job, but uh, that's out there. I don't know. Maybe I can set a meeting. And then I was like, I will do anything. to. I have to make this movie. And then after a series of interviews that I thought went horribly, it, uh, <laughs> it kind of worked out. Uh, so maybe they didn't go as bad as I thought. Obviously not. It was it was perfect. Other than the turtles, you know, what was your favorite fandom growing up? I really loved Ghostbusters. Jurassic Park is like my Star Wars. It's like the thing that made me want to be a filmmaker. When I was a teen, preteen teenager, I got very into like Dragon Ball Z and would spend most 
hours of my life on the internet trying to find like episodes of Dragon Ball GT that weren't available in the United States yet to download on LimeWire. <laughs> Hardcore fan. I see that. So in the movie, I noticed a lot of uh, cool throwbacks to like the 80s and 90s. You know, were there any favorites or any influences there? Yeah, it's it's like the the Ninja Turtles. This movie had to take place today for the story to work. But uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, are so uh, cemented in my brain as a 90s, 80s thing. And all of my mm-hmm. like warm feelings of nostalgia are inseparable from that. And being able to give it a soundtrack that is reminiscent of that area. And, and also just to make some color and design choices that evoke it and let it feel kind of 90s without explicitly being 90s was a uh, was a uh, was a goal and and it hopefully worked out loved it i mean i, I got that vibe so right. i definitely wanted to ask <laughs> well that was all the time i had but thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you boys where have you been Woo! we're just running errands that's it Really sorry, Splinter. Some of the guys wanted to get pizza, and I tried to talk them out of it. Leo! You ratted us out. Hey, don't use that word that way. I mean, it's 2023. Sorry, right Dad. <laughs> hey, guys. If we weren't monsters that were shunned by society and we could do what we wanted, ah! what would you guys do? Go to high school. Maybe get a girlfriend. Can you imagine that? Not likely. Ah! Yes, we can. This is insane. Turtles, mutant, karate teens. I want to know everything about you. Our dad is definitely not a giant rat. That makes me feel like he's a rat. Police are baffled by the recent crime wave led by a super fly. Nobody's ever seen his face. Why? Because he kills everyone who does. Cool. No, not cool. A bit cool. Can I kick it? We pick out super fun, and then everyone will think we're cool. They'll accept us. Can I kick it? He's making a deal tonight under the Brooklyn Bridge. Can I kick it? Kick it. Whoa. Chick, 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 chick. What the? Y'all some little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. You want to roll with us? Oh. Humans are never going to like us. So we're going to let the mutants rule the earth. People's they got to go. Okay, um, sort of a twist. We can't stop him. We got to try. Six in the morning, police at my door. My son, Michelangelo, you have heart. Donatello, you have wisdom. Raphael, you have bravery. And Leonardo, honor. Enough talk! I dream about fighting every night. You've got a rage oh, problem, snap. right? It's not a problem! Can I Can I kick it? 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 Can